Joining me now is Republican Senator Bob Corker of Tennessee. He is the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Mr. Chairman, thanks for being here as always. Jake, always good to be with you. Thank you. So, Senator, you have criticized Vladimir Putin for corruption. You've said that Putin cannot be allowed to succeed in his aggression, that Putin must pay a heavy price until he changes course. Take a listen to Donald Trump talking about Putin last night. If he says great things about me, I'm going to say great things about him. I've already said he is really very much of a leader. I mean, you can say, oh, isn't that a terrible thing? He called I mean, the man has very strong control over a country. Now, it's a very different system, and I don't happen to like the system. But certainly in that system, he's been a leader far more than our president has been a leader. Do you have any concerns at all about Trump's apparent affinity for Vladimir Putin, who has obviously annexed Crimea, invaded Ukraine, and is supporting Assad? Well, I think one has to be a little careful to uh, to let flattery affect one's judgment. Uh, so uh, I'll just leave it at that. I uh, look, we have interests that uh, we ought to be able to work with Russia on, no question. Uh, the terrorism issue is one that threatens them just like it does us. On the other hand, uh, let's face it, over the last several years, um, President Putin has, has operated in ways that very much have been against our interests, and I think we have to recognize that that's just a fact, and uh, has done so in many ways in a very ruthless manner. So uh, um, I don't condone that, as you referred to earlier comments I've made some time ago. And uh, I think we have to recognize that uh, there are significant differences in just the way our countries are set up, but also significant uh, differences in, in what our national interests are. And so while there are a few areas where we ought to be like-minded, there are certainly multiple areas right now, Syria, Ukraine, Crimea, um, uh, where, where those, are, those differences are pretty profound. Do you think that the president of Russia is a stronger or better leader than the president of the United States? Oh, I don't want to get into, I mean, I, you know, this is a political season and comments are being made and, and uh, I, you know, I've got a job to do here, uh, Jake, as you know, to deal with just the, the current issues we're dealing with around the world. and. I, I don't want to referee uh, personality issues, and, and uh, I, I don't even want to weigh in on a comment like that. Trump said last night that there were things that he's learned in the classified intelligence briefings that all presidential nominees uh, get that surprised him. And he said he could tell from body language that the briefers were, were not happy because, quote, our leaders did not follow what they were recommending. Hillary yeah. Clinton today said that making that comment was inappropriate and undisciplined. Uh, what, yeah. what do you think? Well, again, I, I certainly have not been involved in those briefings, uh, and I, I, again, I, you're, you're putting me in a sort of a personality referee position, which is not a position that I should be in or want to be in, and, and really I'm a more of a public, public policy person, as you know. Typically, I will say with intelligence briefings, uh, they really attempt not to um, try to give you a direction they try to keep it to you know the facts of the intelligence gathering i know you're eager to talk about the here and now especially about syria take a listen to libertarian presidential nominee gary johnson talking yeah. to mike barnacle this morning yeah what would you do if you were elected about aleppo about aleppo and what is aleppo you're kidding no do you think that's disqualifying well, uh, you know, I, I, again, I didn't see the interview. I, I've never met uh, Governor Johnson. Uh, I, uh, I just, I, again, it just doesn't behoove me to comment. I'll let, I'll let you and those who give editorial comments around these kind of things uh, discuss that. I, again, Jake, uh, uh, I, I don't want to be, I'm chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee. It's a huge privilege. I work with people on both sides of the aisle to try to, try to solve our problems. and. The last place I want to be in all of this is a referee over who's qualified, who isn't qualified. Let's talk about the dire humanitarian crisis in Syria right now. Secretary okay. of State John Kerry and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov are, are meeting in Geneva to try to negotiate some sort of ceasefire. What more can the U.S. do to help the Syrian people who are, who are being slaughtered? It's really not a great deal that we are able to do because of the complexities that have arisen. I mean, we can meet with Russia. 
But Russia knows that there's nothing that the United States is going to do force-wise, at least while this president is in place. I do hope that our next president is going to be willing to work on some way of causing these people who are being uh, bombed, poisoned, tortured, uh, some way for them to have some safe zones uh, to move into until this conflict ends. But uh, um, it's really, a, I think, a blight on our own nation relative to how we've handled this. And um, um, it's, it's, uh, it's heartbreaking to see what people who have the same aspirations, Jake, that you have and that I have and others have, uh, to see them uh, uh, being treated in this disastrous manner. All right, Senator Bob Corker, thank you thank so you. much. We appreciate your time. Thank you.